Hey guys, what's going on? So in the previous video, we learned about commits and branches. Now, while you keep experimenting with Git, you might have gone ahead and typed git log to view your commit histories. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I am in my uh, git bash. So I have cd into the directory. All right. So in order to view my recent commit histories, what I can do is I can type git log. And whenever I do that, you will find something near the latest commit. And the latest commit is something called head. In this video, we'll cover head and its counterpart, the detached head. Something that Einstein would frown upon. We will see why Einstein would never use detached head in this video. All right, so let's begin. So head is a reference or a pointer which points to the recent commit. As you can see here, the recent commit had a commit message of basic modifications with a commit ID. This one, whenever you type git log after committing any changes, head always points to the most recent commit in this case this one now in order to show you properly i'll make use of a cool online git visualizer so let me go ahead and open it all right so i hope this is visible to all so on the left hand side i have a terminal or i should say a git bash and on the right hand side i have the visualizer okay so, so by default we have been given a first commit along with its commit id and the name of that branch is master branch and head as i told you that it points to the latest commit made now notice how head adjusts itself to point to the recent commit as I keep entering git commit. Let me enter git commit. As you can see here, head is pointing to the recent commit. Git commit. Git commit. Okay, so let's create some branch too. Git checkout. Dash p. Branch one. And let's do some commits. Git commit. Git commit. Git commit. Let's go back to the master branch. commit git commit so as you can see head automatically switched the branch and points to the recent commits made so in short head points to the latest commit made irrespective of the branches so whenever the latest commit is made head points to that commit but there's a small catch in when i said head points to the recent commit for the beginners the definition i made earlier might suffice but we ain't beginners we want to dive deep right so in fact to put it more accurately head only points to a branch name where the recent commit has taken place. Now notice that currently I am in my master branch and you can see that head is pointing to the master branch. Now also notice that branch also keeps updating itself to point to the recent commit. So if I do git commit, you see branch is also moving. So you can see the branch reference is also moving along with the recent commit. So let me once again commit. You can see it is also moving. So let me go to branch one. It checked out branch one and as you can see that head is pointing to the branch reference and if i do git commit you can see the branch is moving along with the recent commit so finally to put all the things together head points to the branch where most recent commit has taken place so here the most recent commit has taken place near the branch one as you can see here and head points to the branch reference or branch name where the recent commit has taken place and branch points to the most recent commit cool so head is pointing to the branch name and branch is pointing to the recent commit made so let me quickly go ahead and print out the log git log so as you can see here the recent commit is aab9b2a and branch is pointing to that aab9b2a and head is pointing to this branch name or more specifically the branch reference now i think you understood what exactly is head so head does not point to the commits directly but instead it points to the branch name where the recent commit has made place and branch points to the recent commit now which brings us to the topic what exactly is detached head well detached head is when your head is directly pointing towards any commit well how to do this well ever heard of this checkout command yeah the same one which we use to switch branches well you can use this to command head to point to the commit directly remember that we did git checkout and branch name to check out to the branches but in order to move the head to a particular commit you need to type git log and you need to paste the commit id along with the git checkout so instead of passing the branch name in git checkout you will pass the commit id so if i want my head to point to this commit what i can do is i can copy the commit id and i can type git checkout and paste the commit id now you will notice that head is now at this commit and you can see about as soon as I did this head is now detached. Okay, so but what are the advantages of detached head? Why do we use it? Well, the very important advantage is that now you can time travel. Traveling to past is now possible. 
That's why Einstein would never use this. And in case if you want to know more about special theory of relativity, well, I can give a link to the description below and you can go ahead and check it out. So this means that we can now really move anywhere. So if I type git checkout, and if I want to suppose, say I want to move to this commit, say this commit, I can directly go ahead and paste the commit ID, go ahead and paste the commit ID, and boom, I can move anywhere. Now, if you're wondering that why I have created a new branch, well, I have this habit of clearing my terminal after some time. So notice that if I did git commit, and let's make two to three more commits. And if you notice, I have a habit of clearing and I cleared this by accident. So let me quickly go ahead and reconstruct a new scenario. All right. So as I mentioned earlier that you can detach the head to any commit you want. In order to detach the head to a particular commit, you need to type git log and then you pick off the, any of the commit ID that you want to go to and you type git checkout and the ID hit enter now the head is detached the advantage is that you can now time travel go to past of that same branch and also you can make experimental commits what i mean by experimental commit now notice that my head is now at this commit id now if i do a git commit you can notice that a new commit has been made i can keep going on and commit a couple of them more cool so by experimental commit there are two cases in general you might not want to keep these commits or you might want to keep these commits. So if you don't want to keep these commits, what you can do is you can simply check out any other branches that are available. So we have two branches, master and test. So let's check out to either master or test. Let's go to test. And you would notice that now head is now pointing to test and test is pointing to the very recent commit made there. And Git will eventually delete or prune this branch as we move forward in time because these are all experimental commits and they won't be considered so as we move further by creating more and more branches or more and more commits git will eventually prune this and delete these experimental branches now if you want to keep those commits let's quickly check out to the latest commit made there so let's copy the commit id so what i did was i detached my head to this commit and so if you want to keep this entire commits then you can create and check out a branch there itself. So if I create a branch right here, now notice that head is pointing to this commit here. So head is in a detached state. Now, if you want to save this entire branch or entire commits, what you can do is you can create and check out the branch there itself. So notice what if I do get branch, a branch name say keep all changes. Let's suppose let's let's name it that way. Now you notice that suddenly this visualizer has showed that yes, this branch is now existing. Now, the one thing is that head is directly pointing to the commit ID. We don't want that because head is still in a detached state. Now, if you want to remove head from detached state, what you can do is, as I told you earlier, that you can do a git checkout to any of the branches. So let's check out to the keep all changes branches only, all changes. And you will now notice that this branch is now existing and it has now saved all of your commits. And you can now come back to the master branch. Cool. So, all right, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. And, and if you really like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe our channel. You can also support us by spreading this word to others who really want to learn about Git and other tech stacks. By doing this, you are really supporting us to grow our channel. And hopefully, this video will reach many who really need it. All right, guys, see you in the next lecture.